Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have all the tools for you right here. So the NFL season is getting down to the final stretch and numerous teams are still in the hunt for the playoffs. But before we get into the games, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section right here, which has all the tools that you need. So let's take a look at some of the action here for this week. Scroll down through here, see there's a lot of games, the full slate of, of games here. We're not going to take a look at all of them, but some of them. Carolina and Buffalo. Dallas and New York Giants. Houston and Jacksonville. We'll get to one here shortly. So go down through the list. Here's the first one we're going to take a look at. The Tennessee Titans and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh hosts Tennessee in a crucial test for the Steelers. You notice here that they are actually a 1.5 point home underdog, right? Their stats is averaged out at the moment coming off of a loss, and they have lost three out of their last six, while the Titans are average up coming off of a win, and they are 4-2 and two over their last six contests. You see the odds are in favor of Tennessee by 1.75 to 2.05, and the over-under is set at 41.5. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Pittsburgh is on an upward trend here. They're up to plus 20. And Tennessee is at plus 25. If you take a look here at the uh, total streak, you see Pittsburgh was over in their last game and f over in four out of their last six games. But Tennessee was under and under in three out of their last six games. So since it, they're pretty much trending on opposite sides of the line, I try to avoid the over and under in this one, generally speaking. But the thing that I'm looking at here is the line is set at so low at 41.5. And if you look at the score prediction, Tennessee 29, Pittsburgh 21, although the confidence in prediction is only 49% at the moment, I do like the trend in, as far as the way the point total is on this one. I do believe that this one will actually go over the line, and I like the Steelers to actually win this one at home as the underdog. And again, so we're going to go with the Steelers at home to win and over the line. Washington at Philadelphia. This is a classic NFC East battle, and the teams are tied in the division, both looking for the final uh, playoff spot at the moment. Philadelphia is average up, coming off of a win and 4-2 and two over the last six. Washington's four-game winning streak was halted by the Cowboys, and they are 4-2 and two over the last six. You see, Philadelphia is a solid favorite of 4.5 points, with odds of 1.45 to 2.692. The over-under is set at 44.5. The score prediction likes the over, and they like the Eagles by a 31 to 20 march. That's a solid win for Philadelphia, according to the to the score predictor. The, the confidence prediction is only 55% at the moment, so take a look at that as it gets closer to the game. See if that changes. If you look at the power ranking indicator. You can see Washington up at plus 23, Philadelphia at plus nine. But see, these haven't really been updated since the last game. So take a look at this as it gets closer to game time. You'll probably see a little bit of a change there, particularly since Washington is coming off of a loss. If you look at the stability factor, you can see that Philadelphia has been pretty stable at plus five, as has been Washington at plus four. So both teams are performing considerably well as far as their feared underdog status indicates. Let's hope to see if there's been any change in the line. This is the Eagles money line. You see it started at 1.69 and it's now at 1.45. So it's even a, a bigger favorite for Philadelphia now. I like Philadelphia in this one. I like the Eagles to win and cover. And as far as the over-under goes, I think um, I'm going to take... Uh, right now I'm going to avoid the over-under in this one. we take a little bit closer look at the lines. It gets closer and closer to the game. But right now I'm leaning toward not betting the over-under, but I do like the Eagles to win and cover. Atlanta and San Francisco. Cincinnati and Denver. That should be a good game. We're not going to look at that one. We're going to look at this one here. Green Bay and Baltimore. The Packers head to Baltimore on a roll. Right? They have won their last two. Four and two over their last six. Burning hot status. They are a 4.5 point road favorite with odds of 1.45 to 2.629. Excuse me, 2.692, and the over/under set at 
Baltimore's average down at the moment, coming off of a loss, and they lost to Lamar Jackson. We don't really know what his status is yet for this week. We'll take a look at that as it gets closer to game time. The score prediction right now has the Packers in a relatively easy 11-point win, 34-23, with a confidence in prediction of 57%. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. Green Bay is at plus 30, and Baltimore has dropped from 28 to 21. You look at here, the score prediction, both teams are trended over the line. Well, at least in the last week, they were over. Green Bay's been over in the last three weeks, and then under in the three previous weeks. Baltimore has been under in four of the last six weeks. I do like the score to be a little bit more high scoring. Um, I like Green Bay to win the game. I think they will win and cover up. Let's take a look at the money line to show what's happening here. You see, it started at 1.8, and it went it, it steeply favored now towards Green Bay, probably because of the Jackson injury, and I agree with this. I think the Packers will win easily and cover the spread. Seattle and the Rams. This is an NFC West battle with Seattle traveling to Los Angeles. Both teams are burning hot at the moment. Both teams have won their last two and three out of their last six. The Rams are a solid home favorite of 4.5 points with odds of 1.48 to 2.612. And you can see the over-under here set at 45.5. A score prediction has the Rams in a blowout, 34-17, to with 60% level of confidence. If that score holds true, not only would the Rams win, but it would also go over the line, and they would also cover. So let's take a look at the power ranking indicator. On the power ranking indicator, you see that the Rams are plus 23, while Seattle is at plus 6, so a wide discrepancy there. And let's take a look at the totals. We already did the totals predictor. Uh, let's go look at the volatility oscillator here. The volatility oscillator shows that both teams are moderately stable at plus two. So they're fairly well performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status. You can see that the Rams are trending over. Seattle is trending over. I do like the over in this one. I do like the Rams to win and cover. And like I said, to go over the line. New Orleans and Tampa Bay. Minnesota and Chicago. This is the last game we're going to look at. I like this one here. This is a classic, classic, classic NFC North battle, right? The old black and blue division, the Vikings and the Bears. Doesn't get much better than this, right? So, Minnesota right now is a three and a half point road favorite over the Bears. With odds of 1.51 to 2.542, with an over/under set at 44.5. The Vikings are average status at the moment, coming off of a win, and they are three and three over their last six. While the Bears are dead, they have lost five out of their last six. The only win coming against the lowly uh, Lions, and that was only by two points. If you take a look at the score prediction, you have the Vikings by 40 to 19 score, with 76% level of confidence, so a relatively high level of confidence for a blowout win for the Vikings. I don't think it's necessarily going to be a 21-point win, but I like the, the trend as far as the way that's going. Um, the totals predictor shows, uh, let's see, the Vikings over in five out of their last six games. The Bears over in four out of their last six games. This is a very good play to bet the over. Take a look at the power ranking indicator quickly. You see that the Vikings are at plus 10. The Bears down here at plus 4. I mean, everything is pointing in favor of the Vikings in this one. Let's take a look at the money line, see if there's been any movement here. It started at 1.51, and it's still at 1.51. It did it did change some here, but it's back to 1.51. I like the Vikings to win. I like the Vikings to cover in a high-scoring game, so bet the over. So there you have it. Those are the games for this week in the NFL. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.